Hi, I'm Ali Byrne, and I'd like to welcome you to module one of the Equine Backrub. And I'm really looking forward to helping you on your journey of discovery about the power of touch. I've been a human and equine shiatsu practitioner now for over 12 years. Is there a way that they can be more proactive and helpful in keeping the horse's muscles relaxed and healthier in between the treatments? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. And that's how the equine back rub evolved. And the reason why it's important for us to um, learn or to start to learn the techniques on humans is that at least we get the verbal feedback. Horse feedback through facial expressions and how they move their body. Um, but it never ceases to amaze me that when I'm working on somebody's shoulders, for example, that they would say, oh, I felt a tingling in my leg. And that just confirms that actually when you start to move stagnation, um, that actually the energy and the blood flow actually starts to move better throughout the whole, whole body specific point. Okay, so what we first do, Millie, is we just place our hands quite firmly on the shoulders. There's nothing worse than sort of like a sort of just doing fingertips and then so if you check your stance so feet a little bit wider apart perfect what you're going to do is just lean a little bit onto Mike's shoulders and what we're wanting is um, in a second we'll ask for feedback from Mike and Francis because everybody's touch is very individual as horses are so what one person will like um, another person won't. Some people like more pressure, some people like less pressure, as our horses do. And then what we're just going to do, a little rub, just to warm the shoulders up. Now that technique is going to be um, similar to the first technique that we use on the horse, which is called the body sweep. Technique that we do is called a body sweep. And the body sweep is really our initial chance to um, deliver our touch to the horse's body. So it's sort of a, a hello. And what we're doing through that body sweep is we're trying to note through the sensation through the palms of our hand, we're trying to just um, check for any extra hot areas, cold areas, hard areas, soft areas. And we're checking for reactions from the horse facially and maybe anything that you feel under the palms of your hand, you may find that you get little sensations of the muscles almost twitching. So you just, it's a, it's a way of you just doing an overall check. So we're beginning to relax now. So it's a cold day, but we are just going to take um, Tinker's rug off just so that I can demonstrate the body rub. That's a good girl. That's it. That's it. So actually, she's beginning to interact a little bit with me now, which is great. So golden rule, one of the golden rules is once you make contact, we try to stay in contact with the body. So even though I'm explaining with Tan still on Tink around the other side. So this is now when your stance is important. So we get back to the horse riding stance. I want to be square on. And as I move along her body, I need to coordinate moving my feet and actually coordinating the body sweep, so my arms. So I'm just going to start really gently and I'm going to move very slowly because, as we say, her energy is up. So I lean in and it's just nice big strokes. And as I move along the body watch, I move my feet so I stay square on. We don't want to be sliding off the body in this way, is then working over this big area of muscle along their back. And again, we're just getting the licking and the chewing, which is great. And then I'll change to the slow rubbing. And again, we're just getting the head lowering now. And I'm transferring, as I'm doing this, I'm transferring a little bit. I've widened my stance. I'm transferring a little bit of weight now onto my right foot and then I bring my left foot over so that I can just work a little bit there. I change back onto my left foot, move, and then I can do the same again. And, and again, I'm just moving my feet so I stay square on 
and then smooth her down. And these muscles are looking, hopefully you can see, are looking soft.